It's a busy and fairly blustery day here at Overdy Vest Nurseries. We're gathering together lots of pretty plants that are going to be going out to garden centres all over our region in the next week or so. And here on the front of this wagon is a couple of beautiful clematis that are really good examples of modern day plant breeding. Short and compact and free flowering. This is part of the Boulevard series raised by Raymond Everson on the famous island of Guernsey. Raymond is probably one of the world's foremost clematis breeders and we like his Boulevard series because they're so free flowering and yet nice and compact and bushy and produce as you see some absolutely gorgeous flowers. This is one called Zara, a beautiful light blue that produces lots of buds. It gets to about three to four foot high, an ideal plant to put on say a low wall, a trellis, perhaps even grow in a container. It's one that looks really good if you're able to put it in front of a dark background or perhaps, perhaps it might be something that you would grow into a purple leaf shrub or at least a dark colored plant. Then this one is just now opening up and this is Clematis Sarah Elizabeth. Another short compact one though this one grows a little taller, four to five foot high with bright pink flowers on it too. And then probably the star of the three of them is one that we've been growing now for several years. This is Clematis Parisienne, a really fantastic Clematis because it is so exceptionally free flowering. It comes out first with a deeper kind of purplish blue and then as the flowers mature you'll see that the color lightens. So if you've got it in brighter sunlight area you're going to have it fade to a really light lilac blue whereas if you plant it say in a partially shaded site you're going to get darker colors with it. Altogether, a plant that only gets to about three to four foot high and like the others is extremely free flowering. What's interesting about this variety is that Raymond told me that whenever it was introduced first they nearly didn't select it. He thought it didn't really show that much promise in its early stages but then as they watched it and looked at its development they couldn't help but notice the sheer amount of flowers that it was producing. So here it is with lots of buds and lots of flowers and as you also see really coping quite well with the blustery conditions this morning. This is the Boulevard series from Raymond Everson Clematis.